Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Mario Doctor here for another review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Super Anti Spyro's cleaning abilities in its free version. I'm not testing the professional version where there is real time protection. So this is more of a reactive test to the malware that's already on the system than a proactive test like I normally conduct where I download samples and we hope that the tested product will actually block the malware before it affects the system. But in this situation, like it is unfortunately in a lot of cases, the malware is already on the computer and as a user we are faced with the task of having to clean this malware and try and get the system back to a functioning or normal use. Over the last couple days or so, I've been downloading a variety of malware. I know you probably can tell I just downloaded a few registry cleaners here for a good measure, but trust me, we have some Trojans, some adware, some viruses, a lot of pop-ups, so it is pretty difficult to navigate on this computer. It's really slow. I, I've already counted like seven or eight blue screens I've gotten while I have been setting this up. Our task manager has been disabled, so if we click on Start Task Manager, as I have been installing malware on the computer, I've been seeing a variety of things. At first, it just flashed up on the screen and then it disappeared. And then I started getting a dialog box telling me that it couldn't launch and now we're not getting anything at all. Also, Windows Firewall keeps getting disabled. I have re-enabled it, I believe, twice so far over the last couple of days. It turns off when I restart the computer. If we look on MS Config, But as we can see, we have a lot of startup entries here that definitely do not belong. And if we just scroll down, we just see a bunch of startup entries. Now keep in mind, there is no antivirus installed on this computer. So there was really nothing to stop this malware from affecting the computer. And in this situation, we have a bunch of malware on the computer, and we are going to try Super anti spire and see how much of this we can remove. Now you have to keep in mind this will probably this will be more of a subjective test. You really can't give Super anti spire a grade or how well it did if it removed five threats or removed twenty threats. It's really how you feel it performed. However, if we see that it clearly doesn't block any files or doesn't change the system at all for the better, then I really won't hesitate to say that it probably didn't do a very good job. But as we can see, we have several processes loaded in memory right here. And if any of you are wondering, I, I did not install any ransomware on this virtual machine for this test. I figured it would have taken too big of a spotlight for this review and it would have just been a nuisance to work around and it's really more than just one piece of ransomware that I'm trying to focus on. I'm just trying to show that there are several infections on the computer. And to be honest, this isn't that uncommon of a setup that I've seen on infected computers in the past. Sure, there might be a few more thrown in that normally wouldn't be there, but it doesn't really it really wouldn't surprise me to see a computer in the situation infected to this extent out in the real world and possibly even worse. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into safe mode so we can run some scans a little bit better and I'll be right back. Hello everybody, I'm back in safe mode. I figured it would be a little bit more efficient to do a scan in here. Now because this is a removal video, I'm not going to really go that much into settings. They do have the system investigator that they've incorporated into this latest version that scans critical Windows files and provides a rating for the files and processes to give the user a better determination if they want to allow or block these files. Similar to hijack this, if you are aware of the program, very similar in nature. But nonetheless, I'm going to run a scan with Super Anti Spyware. Before I continue the review, I believe it's important to note something I didn't mention earlier, and that is while there are very new threats on the computer, there are also some threats that have been around for, let's say, a month for a couple months. And the registry cleaners, I mean, they might have been around even longer than that. 
but as this is a removal video, you can find threats that are plenty of months old that are still residing on a computer. So I felt it was appropriate to put threats of ranging ages on this computer that someone in the real world could be in have to deal with. Because this is a removal video, I am going to run a complete full scan with Super Anti Spire on this. And then once we are done running the scan, I will be right back. Um, actually, it appears we already have an unwanted program here. It says one item found. Um, we're either given the option to uninstall this item or trust or allow this item. We're going to uninstall this item. And now it appears it is scanning. And then once it is done, I will be right back. Hello everybody, I'm back. Super anti spiral finished scanning. I found 40 threats. Let's see what it found. Without clicking on every single one of the items that it found, it appears that it found several Trojan agents, some back doors, um, something touristic back door. So expect the detection to be a little bit higher. This review is trying to make it as realistic as possible for someone who's trying to use Super Anti Spiral to clean their computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue, remove all of these items. We're going to reboot now. We're going to restart into the normal Windows operating mode, and we're going to see what's left behind. Hello, everybody. I'm back from restart. Now I keep getting this extension error when I try to run Google Chrome. But besides that, I still have my home page change, but at least the browser is working. And it was working before, but it's just still running pretty slow. I know we didn't really go into the browser before, and that's not really our highlight of the test. But I, but I do want to see what is still starting up with the computer. And we still see we have plenty of programs that are starting up. And we can launch Task Manager again. It's not blocked from launching. You can see we have some questionable processes running in memory. And I checked, and Windows Firewall is on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a few scans. So I'm going to run a scan of Malwarebytes, Hitman Pro, ESET Smart Security, and Norton Power Racer to see what is left on the system, and I'll be right back. Hello, everybody. I'm back from the scans. Uh, I opened up Process Explorer just so we could see some processes that are currently running in memory. We see that there are still several infections running currently right there, there. And a couple more down here. It's, it's a pretty safe bet that I'm saying they're malicious because of their high detection rate on virus total. And now, before I show everybody the results, you have to keep in mind that there were a lot of malware samples on the computer. And some of these are malware traces or just multiple files contained within one malicious application or program. So don't be shocked. But we have 83 malicious items that were detected and 870 non-malware items detected. You have to keep in mind a lot of these are registry keys and duplicates of one piece of malware. But as we can tell, I'm not going to go for every single one of these. We do have a couple on temp. However, we do see there are registry values that are entered. We have something in app data local, looks like a Trojan backdoor. We have some registry keys, like I said. Another back door with a potential one to program right there. And we have this hijack user INIT, hijack start page. Uh, it looks like we even have a worm in the start menu. And if we open up Hitman Pro, they identify 94 malicious threats and 1,007 malware traces. Uh, appears we have a couple, we have one in temp right here. We have something in System32. It's Microsoft.net.exe, detected by both Bitdefender and Kaspersky. I believe most of these are detected by both engines. 
and if we just scroll through them, just ignore the ones that have the malware pack in them. They weren't actively running on the computer, so they're not considered a high threat. And then we have something in app data, local. You see that takes up a lot of the threats or traces that Hitman Pro detected. Um, here's we have something in Windows right there. Another thing in app data, and then a couple more things in Windows and program data. So keep in mind that this is a removal test. While I think Super Anti Spyro did help improve the system, I believe that they are better suited as a third or fourth opinion scanner. Personally, I don't have a problem with them, but I think that if you're looking to remove a malware infection quickly, that would not be the first tool I would run to, even though. I have to say the system is a little bit better than it was. So, you know what, I mean, I guess that's not horrible. But then again, like I said, this is a subjective test. Uh, take from it as you wish. I mean, these results aren't law, so results may vary. So don't stop using Super anti spiral because of these scan results because you're probably not going to find a computer that's disinfected. But you know what, I mean, it happens. And seeing Malwarebytes scan results here, um, I'm, I believe what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to restore the snapshot of the machine when it was heavily infected. So basically back right where we started the Super anti spiro scan, I will basically do a removal test of Malwarebytes anti malware free. So just a free scanning and removal tool. I probably won't be using Malwarebytes Chameleon if, if you're wondering because I think I can access Malwarebytes in that in this condition that the system was in. Malwarebytes Chameleon doesn't really need to be utilized unless something is blocking it. But and again, that's for the next video. So I think that'll wrap up this review of Super anti spiral Free Edition Malware Removal. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed it. So I think that'll be about it. For this review, take them as you wish. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Bye.